Hey everyone, welcome to the next video on our series, Stock Market for Beginners. It's been an educational journey learning about what the stock market is and how it works. The last video covered some of the more popular terms that you'll find in the market, and hopefully I brought some light to what they are and what they mean. This video is gonna be a little different. We're gonna dive into the three things that you can all together do with a stock, which is buy, sell, or hold. And there's reasons why you would wanna do these things, and this video is going to tap into why you wanna do any of those. Let's start off with why you would want to buy a stock in the first place. Remember that buying a stock is buying ownership into a company that you think will go up in value or price. But there's a saying that comes to mind. You want to buy low and sell high. That means you want to buy a stock when the price appears to be at a low level with great potential to go higher and make money. Now, folks, this really is an acquired skill that takes people a long time to master, but the VectorVest system can help make this process much easier for you. How about this? You may want to buy a stock because of its potential dividend. This is passive income that can be made on the stock paid out from the company as a benefit of owning the shares in the company. How about this? You may want to buy a stock because it continuously makes money. Companies that grow their earnings are great companies to buy shares in. How about you may want to buy a stock because of its, of its future potential. A stock that could change a product and present it in a new way of doing business. Now, this is called speculating and it could take years to come to fruition. But there's many people out there who trade this way. Let's say that my imaginary company, Glenn's Gadgets, produces a product that changes the way that people are currently doing something and saves time and money for you. The potential is there, but it needs to gain traction and confidence that it can do what I say it can do. It's got great huge upside, but it may take a long time to really happen. Another reason to buy a stock is that the owner of the shares of the company you have voting rights that you can use to move the company in a certain direction. These rights are given to the owners of the common shares of the stock. Now, those are just a few of the reasons why you would consider buying a stock. There's a lot more out there, but those are the basic reasons of really why you would want to buy a stock. Now, let's talk about why you would want to sell a stock. The main reason you should sell a stock is to hopefully make a profit on the stock you bought. That's the best idea. The stock goes up in price, you take your profit and hopefully reinvest that money and do it again and again. That is the reason you should be investing in the stock market, right? The next reason though is just as important. I would want to sell a stock if the company is not making me money. And this is huge because you never want to let a stock position get away from you. This means that you should always have a line in the sand or a goal that says if you lose a certain percent on a position, you need to sell it. Never let a position get so far down that it destroys your portfolio. And again, I say this is huge because this is where many new investors in the stock market get hurt. Always remember, Plan your trade, trade your plan. Say your plan says you sell a stock if you make 30% or lose 10%. You should always know when you're going to get into a stock and when you're going to sell or get out of a stock. You need to learn to mitigate the risk on your portfolio and this will keep you profitable. On that note, you can sell a stock if uh, the company or the industry has changed and made the stock riskier. Outside factors can help you sell a stock faster than you plan and should also be considered. Considered what is going on right now, coronavirus. This event has drastically affected the movement of stock prices. Here's another reason. Maybe you need the money from the profit on the stock for real world purposes and now you have the money readily available. The last reason is maybe you have a better opportunity to make money in a different stock that's really moving. Don't be afraid to close a position to reinvest in a different one. You can use the proceeds from the stock that you have and put it into a different opportunities. Now keep in mind, 
These are still all great reasons to sell a stock, but there's just some of them that are out there. Now, let's talk about the reasons why you would hold a stock. Well, maybe you like the voting rights and you want to be active in the direction of the company you invested in. So you'll hold the stock. How about this? Unrealized capital gains. Keep in mind that once you sell a stock and make money, you need to pay taxes on that. And that is called short-term capital gains. People will hold on to stocks that they're making money on just so that they don't have to pay the taxes on the money just quite yet. Let's say Glenn's Gadgets goes from $10 to $100, but I think it's got high potential, so I continue to hold it. You may have heard people say, well, I owned Apple when it was $20, and look at it now. This is a great reason why you would want to just hold that stock. Third, how about it's because the dividend it pays? Now, be careful with this one. Just because a stock pays a dividend doesn't always mean it's a great stock to buy. If the price of the stock is declining, make sure the dividend being paid is better than the price decline on the stock. Please keep that in mind. So, these are the three things you can do with a stock. There's a lot to consider and always remember. Everyone invests differently. Some of you may want to buy and hold stocks. Other may want to hold stocks for much shorter time periods. These are just some of the reasons why you would want to buy, sell, or hold a stock. Now, thank you for joining me for this video, and I look forward to the next one, and I hope you are too. Have a great day.